how can we deduce the Kushans were Indian when Kadapis is one united five clans of the UHE and then defeated the Greeks and the Parthians and the UHE are of Chinese origin. I found this info in ancient India by R.C. Majumdar. Okay, very good question. So, uh, like I have said, I, I mean, I have recommended R.C. Majumdar in the past. I have said it's a very good uh, source of information about ancient India. Now we have to all, I've also put a caveat in there. I said that these books were written almost a century ago. And therefore, they would reflect the knowledge that was, that was available at that time, a hundred or so years ago, maybe 80 years ago. That is very old knowledge. Much of it is outdated. The books are very still very good reference books for information about ancient India, but we have to always keep in mind that this information is outdated in, in some in some cases, in many cases perhaps. Right. So, yeah, the the the, the people, the Kushan, the ancestors of the Kushan, the Chinese called them the UHE. So does it mean they were Chinese? Does it mean they were Chinese? Because today we know them by a Chinese name. Does it mean that they were of Chinese origin? Obviously not. That is not a logical connection. I mean, the Chinese can call the Indians Yindu. I think the name the Chinese have currently for India is Yindu, and they would be, have some name for the Indian people also. So because there is a Chinese name for Indians, does, does it mean that we are in, we are Chinese now? The, the uh, Russians found this pit grave culture, ancient 5,000 year old pit graves. The graves, they look like pits. And the Russian name for the word pit is Yamna. So they call these people the Yamnaya people. Does it mean the Yamnaya people of 5,000 years ago, they were Russians? Because they, we, we use a Russian name to call them to, 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 uh, for them today? No. Just because we use a Russian name for that, for that clan of people, does it mean they were Russians? And similarly, if the ancestors of the Kushan, Kushans were called the UHE by the Chinese, it doesn't mean they were Chinese. It's just a Chinese name for that. We don't have to use the Chinese name for that. Right. So the most likely the ancestors of the people who were later known as the Kushans, most likely they were the ancient Tushar people. And the English speaking historians, they call them the Tokarians because they don't want to use a Sanskrit word. So don't use the word Tushar, use the word Tokarian, which obviously is based upon the word Tushar. So most likely the ancestors of the Kushan people who let me show on the map they most uh, where they, where did they live they lived in the tarim river basin region in present day xinjiang where is the tarim river this is the hotan river the tarim river is here i believe which river is this this is the yarkant river all right all right where is that where is the desert Tarim River. Let's let's look for the Tarim River. Yeah, it's currently in China. Currently. Where is it? Where is it? Looks like I found it. Yeah, this is the Tarim River. So in the Tarim River Basin, that's where the ancestors of the Kushans lived and they were most likely known as the Tushara people and they were of Indian origin. How do we know? We find all these Tarim Basin mummies there and the mummies look kind of European. You know, they are like tall, six feet tall, etc. Some of them are over six feet tall. They seem to have fair skin. Many of them have red hair or blonde hair, right? So they look like they are European in, in ethnicity, but when we examine the DNA of the males, they are almost exclusively R1A1A, which is an Indian origin lineage. So maybe there was some intermarriage between Eurasian peoples and Indians or something like that, which produced the Tushara people and so on. But the, but the uh, ethnicity was very clearly Indian. The patrilineal lineages, haplogroups were decidedly of Indian origin. And if you look at the mummies, they don't, they don't look Chinese at all. They don't look Chinese in any way whatsoever. So this word UHE, which is the Chinese use and which historians use nowadays for the ancestors of the, of the Kushans, it is very misleading. It is a Chinese term for a foreign people, for a people that the Chinese consider to be foreigners, Western barbarians. 
so that's what it is that you were chi were not chinese the kushans were not chinese they were indians i just give you genetic evidence you can look up you can google the tarim bays in mummies you can see how they look you can they are very well preserved their facial features are very clearly apparent they are not chinese in any way whatsoever one could call the tushara people the tokarians as one could regard them as the easternmost skythians so the skythians were an indo-iranian group they were of indian origin that is also very well known they were also uh, almost exclusively of the r1a1a lineage the skythians and similarly for the kushans so there you have it they were of indian origin they would have mixed mixed blood because they because they traveled around and they would have inter- intermingled with various other peoples but overall they were of indian ethnicity and clearly of indian culture because when the kushans re-entered india after several thousand years they had no trouble assimilating with the indian population there was no cultural religious strife whatsoever it was the same culture the same more or less the same ethnicity